had to do was hit V. Yeah, go for the V. V, V, V. V? I don't know what V is. Let's see. Where's V? V. Oh, yeah, health potion. Oh, wow. Hmm, I wonder how that happened. Okay, sprint. V? You fucking idiots! <laughs> Yo, hear this guy, hear this guy, hear this guy. One fuck. What the fuck? Heal me, heal me. Heal me, heal me. You fucking idiots! You idiots! V, 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 Alright, bro, 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 bro. <laughs> okay. My man had health pot. Obviously he knows that. He could have just pressed the health pot, he would have been fine. Um here's how I view life. Alright, let's zoom out to life right now. Other player other people can kind of try to other people are gonna fuck you over intentionally or unintentionally. And that's part of life. But it's up to you to then, uh, you know, navigate life in a way that it's like, all right, they fucked me over. Let me continue to move on and not die, right? And in hardcore, wow, when somebody inevitably in a dungeon fucks you over, because it will happen, you have to realize that's part of the damn game. That is hardcore. You play it with random people. They are going to mess up. And when they mess up, are you going to clutch up or not? So I would just, I would just be like, damn, I'm an idiot and move on. And next time send the health bot because next time you do shadow fan keep, guess what? Someone's going to do something else stupid. And then the next time someone's going to do something else stupid and something else. And it's just going to be for the rest of your damn life. All right. In game and out of game. And you can either have the victim mentality of like, man, this sucks of what happened to me. Or you can put it on yourself, figure it out and move forward. All right. It happens, man. All right, next time we clutch up.